You need something? You need something? Yeah. No, it looked like you uh, put me off and you were going by there. It looked like you went like this to me as I was driving by you. What are you looking for? Did you not do that? Here's yet another video showing police officers pulling somebody over and arresting somebody over giving them the middle finger, AKA flipping them the bird. In fact, this might be the most outrageous one of these videos that we've seen yet. Is there a constitutional right to flip the bird to the police? Let's go through the video and then we'll discuss. But first, I want to tell you about the fact that this video is sponsored by Surfshark. If there's one thing I've realized being a civil rights lawyer, it's that we are all being spied on. If not by our government, then by someone else. I guarantee you that at some point in your life, you will be tracked through what you do online. Every minute that you spend online, companies are keeping track of where you are and what you're doing. Even if those companies don't have nefarious intentions, the government, if it wants to, knows just where to find that data. Or, when there's a big data breach, bad actors then know everything about you. They then sell it to the highest bidder, or worse. That's why I protect myself with a Surfshark subscription. It's extremely inexpensive and super easy. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. It keeps you safe and private by covering up like a mask everything that you do online. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is in a way blurred out. It's encrypted. Anyone who tries to snoop on you won't be able to see what you are doing and where you are doing it from, i.e. your location. Using a VPN is like wearing pants. When you go outside, all the important stuff stays private and secure. Surfshark does some other cool things as well. You can actually change your device's location to other countries. This gives you more than just privacy and anonymity. It's a great way to access movies, shows, websites, and other content exclusive to other countries, changing your virtual location. Surfshark isn't expensive with a price of only around $2 a month and it's very, very simple to use. Click the link in the description below to check out Surfshark now. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Now, you might have thought it might have been stretching. I'm doing this. Okay, so you didn't... No. Okay, you didn't intentionally do that Were then. You, I thought it took too long. Yeah, it looked like you looked right at me and looked like you stuck your middle finger up in my face. No, no, I was doing this. Yeah. You must be really sensitive if it's super hot moment. Well, I don't even make it personal, you know. I mean, I, I, you look right at me, and if you were like a cigarette or you had a, you know, one, you're one. First of all, I'm not an overly sensitive person, and it's the first time in 12 years I've ever stopped someone where I thought me off, so I don't like that insinuation. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in talking you to you, let's, 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 you I want to make sure that you're all right. Yeah, it's, it's an unusual behavior. It's unusual behavior. You may not have been doing that, but I think you can agree. That if someone was looking for the attention of a trooper, they're probably going to find it by giving them that type of negative signal. Do you agree with that? No, I don't know because I don't understand that. So, so if, if, if somebody were to do that, can we, uh, that might not have been you, but can we agree? If somebody did that for a trooper, they're obviously looking for their attention. No, I wasn't looking for your attention. I know, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying if someone did that. I'm trying to put you in my mindset from what I was thinking for a moment. Now that I'm talking to you, I realize that, that, that maybe that wasn't the case. Right, you don't strike me as someone who would do that? I don't know that until I have a conversation with you. Do you agree with that? I don't know you until so, I have a conversation okay, with so you. Okay, so I have a question. If someone flipped you off, yep. what is the citation? What's the crime? So, if somebody, <laughs> if, 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 so if somebody, if somebody flips me off, yeah. I don't know if they're signaling to try to get my attention because they need any assistance, or they need to have a conversation. Because obviously it's not normal behavior, so I'm going to have that conversation. Right, because it's not normal. I'm telling you, out of thousands of public interactions, I've never seen that. At least it didn't get my attention, but it was so obvious what she did. Take a left here and take your first left. Take a left and your first left. Thank you. So I won't take up any more of your time. Well, I'm going to file a complaint with you. You're, you're, no, you're, 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 yep, you're, you're, more, you're more than welcome to. It's super rigging out of the Shalmas Barracks. But I don't understand why, like, you thought I was just I was going by there and your middle finger was extended while you were oh, looking maybe at I was me. Doing this. I was doing this. I well, I, I, I also see that you had a cigarette in your hand, yeah. so it's possible that you had one hand up while you're singing right there. That would be considered free from the expression of so, 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 like so, so, so actually, <laughs> so, so you're, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. So, so here, here's the issue, yeah. is that, it, 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 although maybe freedom of expression, it is so unusual, that requires introduction to make sure that you don't need help at some time. Are you trying to signal my attention or something? Okay, so it, it may be freedom of expression, but it crosses the line, whereas 
it is so unusual that it requires intervention. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delay any more than I need to. Once, listen, sir, once I realize that you weren't clicking me off, you're free to go. You understand? You, you don't, now you don't realize that it clicked you off. Once I realize What you, if I did clip you off? Then we have a conversation about what's not appropriate. It's about things to do then to be... So if I did clip you off... Alright, you know, have a good day.
So what happens to my car? Well, it says no parking inside the street, so it's going to get towed. Where? Where does it get towed? I'll give you a record of your preference. Come back over here. Can I get my personal bag? I can grab it for you, but you can't grab it. <laughs> You understand you've been arrested, right? So you don't just get, to, you don't get to you don't just get to drag around your car now, right? I mean, it's, it's, I you can't take around. Right. You've been arrested. So you're in custody. So I've got All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord, this is ridiculous. Oh. I think we can agree your behavior is ridiculous. Nine nine out of hundred people who I thought that did that in the original stop, if it was an honest mistake, they'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I apologize for any error, and they would drag on. Yeah, they they wouldn't do what you did, which makes me think uh -huh. that you did do it now. I'm, I'm not going to answer any more questions, sir. Can you please which, which, which one is tight? I don't, whatever. Just, can you loosen it a little? You have some compassion. So I have, absolutely. So I can, I can put my thumb in there. And so the issue is if I loosen it too much, it's going to ride up against your, your wrist bone. So I'll loosen it a little bit, but if it gets too loose, it's going to start grinding. Up. All right, just bring me wherever you got to bring me. You've got, you got capillary refill. My both hands. This is ridiculous. I'm going to loosen these up. They're going to be uncomfortable. I don't want them to be painful, so I'm going to loosen them a little bit. Okay. Is that a little better? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't okay anymore. It's fine, sir. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Do you mean anything out of the car? Let's go full Can I get my... Yeah, can I get my cell phone and my personal bag, please? It's on the front seat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can take it here? I'm going to back, back up a little bit. Yes, as I've explained in other videos on this exact topic, there is a First Amendment right to flip the bird or give the middle finger to police officers. The protections of the First Amendment are not limited to spoken words, but they include gestures. They include expressive conduct, even vulgar or offensive expressive conduct for sensitive police officers. You can look at Cone versus California, U.S. Supreme Court, 1971. And consistent with this precedent, the gesture known as, quote, giving the finger is widely regarded as an offensive insult, but it's a gesture that the courts have held is generally protected by the First Amendment. Any reasonably good police officer would know that a citizen who raises his middle finger engages in speech protected by the First Amendment. But this one just checks all the boxes because the police officer admitted that that was the sole illegal reason for the initial stop. And then he admitted several times that, that his stop was a mistake, a.k.a. illegal. And then he pulls him over again for the same thing and also for cursing at him. And it's my understanding that the criminal charges after dragging them out for a year were beaten. So that's good. They were dismissed. And a civil lawsuit has now been filed and a First Amendment group fire has joined this lawsuit. I'll put all the links below um, to information about the lawsuit. This is one that I'll continue to follow. I'll also link some of the other videos I've done and documented where this exact same thing has happened, including one that I'm litigating here in West Virginia. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe both here and the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. I'm taking a little bit of time for some much needed vacation. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays. I will hopefully see you soon. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. Thank you.